And the Oscar goes to Timothy. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Dodger Stadium or Citizens Bank Park? Uh, Dodger Bank Park. <laughs> Shohei Otani, Tatumoy Zagoy, Ichiban. That's how you say Shohei Otani is really good, the best in Japanese. He was like, no, you get on the ground. In that moment, did you, were you in touch with the reality that black people deal with every day? Yeah. You're back on stage. <laughs> what did it feel after like? All <laughs> yeah, after all that. After all that, we're back to making people laugh again. You're coming into a situation where you are dependent upon protecting Justin Herbert. I wouldn't have it any other way. How much of a responsibility do you feel on yourself to try to get back to the playoffs? 2021 has already been an amazing year for you. You did the Super Bowl, you rocked it out. <laughs> All that good stuff. And now you're nominated for an Oscar. What has this year been like for you, particularly thinking about how hard 2020 was? Oh my gosh. How important is it for you to carry on Nipsey's marathon? For me, um, just really being able to have that relationship that I had with him and just kind of carrying on his legacy and what he meant to, you know, uh, the Crenshaw area where I come from. Welcome to the Grammys. Up these steps is the stage for music's biggest night. Now, normally we're over this way at Staples Center for the Grammys. Did you think you would still be in Los Angeles? Hey, brother, I, you know, it is what it is, man. It's, it's a business. Did you want to come back? Uh, once again, brother, that's not up to me. I'm Timothy Parker in Hollywood at the first film festival in Los Angeles since the start of the pandemic. I'll tell you why this festival about diversity is the perfect fit for right now. Oh my God. When people see Janice from Friends leading a choir, what do they think? Yeah. We're gonna be popping bottles oh. in LA tonight. Oh, We're literally. Be popping bottles. Oh. I don't need a glass. I'll just go. Bottle. Your Rams got off to a big start this season. What do you got to say about it? We beat the spread um, probably by a new that, That's what's most important is the covering the spread, bro. The marathon continues. Could it be the same? If I saw you in heaven. They wanted to make a statement, obviously, this was a celebration and not a day of sadness. Get up, stand up. Stand up for your rights. This is the voice of a man nominated for R&B Album of the Year, Ant Clemens, up for a Grammy on his very first album. I was working at Red Lobster like about five years ago, four years ago now. And to think that I'm Grammy nominated off my first project, I just can't believe it. Just three years ago, he came to LA with nothing but a dream. I was sleeping on couches and my brother Scott, Ali and Dre from Triangle Park, they let me sleep on their couch in exchange for a song a day. His talent and drive would help him succeed and connect with producers like Lawrence Dobson. Lawrence and his music group, 1500 or Nothing, built up a brotherhood with Ant as he began to make his own path in the industry. When we a family, we just share the work. You know, when he's working on the project, he hit me, and I'm working on the project, I hit him, and that's how 1500 operates. That's how he always been. Rance, who is like one of my brothers, I work with him every single day. They saw my talent and helped me cultivate it into something that's helping me help others. This moment represents the past, present, and future of diversity in hockey. One year ago, this was Willie O'Ree, the first black player in the NHL, dropping the ceremonial puck with Blake Bolden, a scout for the LA Kings. She's the first black scout and only black female scout in the league. I had to do some breathing exercises and have like a power stance before I walked into the room full of men, full of men um, and just be like, you know what, you got this, you know this game. Someone who's been playing hockey for 20 years, I think I know a little bit something about hockey. 